today I'm going to be doing an un unboxing of the Polaroid Cube HD. I recently got this for Christmas and I've been looking forward to getting it. It's basically the equivalent of a GoPro camera. Um, it records 1080p and it comes with various accessories. I got two other accessories. One is a handlebar mount for your bike and the other one is a waterproof case uh, with the suction cup mount to it. So we're going to crack open the Polaroid cube and see what it's like. So give me one second. Okay, so the box itself is fairly small. It just gives you a few things there in the back. Uh, I don't know if you can read that. Anyway, it's 1080p, 6 megapixel uh, still pictures, 124 degrees wide angle lens. It's got a magnetic bottom to it, up to one and a half hours battery's life, waterproof slash splash proof, and it holds a SD slot up to 32 gig, and it's got a microphone and LED indication. So I'll just open it up here now. I will admit I was already in this already. <laughs> so here is your camera. It is very, very small. So let's have a look around it. So you have your camera there at the front. On the top, you have your power button, which also works as your record button and the button to take a picture as well. Then at the bottom, we have the magnet, so it'll stick to metal. And then this here is the slot where you will insert your SD card. Um, sometimes they're a bit tricky to get off. The best thing is to get a coin, like a 5 cent coin, stick it in there and twist it. Which is what I'll actually do now. So um, I'll get this open and continue on. Okay, got my penny here. Had no 5 cent. So just twist it to open it and it pops out like that. So I already have an SD card in it. I have a... 16 gig micro SD in at the moment. I currently have on order a 32 gig, which is the max it supports. There's my phone going off. Um, if your option for 1080p or 720p, you will switch to go between them. And then you have a USB port where you can connect to your laptop and just take the audio off. So you don't need to actually take the SD card out. You can just plug it uh, direct to your laptop and you can take the footage from it. Back in you go and close that there. So that's all there is to the camera itself. Let's see what else was in the box. So you can see there, there's the metal mounting plate which it sticks to. So it is pretty strong indeed. You get a USB cable, very, very minimal length to it. Um, but like if you have like Samsung phones and that, they, they'll all connect to it. Like you're bound to have USB cables lying around the house at this stage if you have many gadgets. Comes with user guide. Don't know if it's focusing. User guide. Yeah. Your warranty. I'm not gonna read that. And just basically quick steps on how to get you going without having to read silly instructions. And then that's the base of it there. So, that's the Polaroid Cube HD. Uh, I'm going to show you the mounts here now. This is the suction mount, um, the waterproof suction mount case. And basically, to open it, you push down here. Mm lift it out like that and the door should open you can tell when you open it, it makes that kind of sound to let you know that it is waterproof so open it up so this silver button on top here that's your going to be for your power so your power button here has to be directly under that there so you slide it in like that close the door over click it in 
and that's your waterproof case there now. So, I haven't really tested them out yet, I haven't had the chance to, but um, we will be getting some footage of them. I had it in the car at one stage, it did do fairly well. Um, and I also have this bicycle mount here, which you can, this, you have two little uh, push buttons here, which is meant to release that, and you can attach, you can do the same here. So it's interchangeable like that, you can keep the waterproof case on and attach it to your bike at the same time. So overall it's a nice piece of kit. Um, for all this, the camera itself is only, well I think it was 109, 110 euro and then it was like 45 for the uh, waterproof case and the suction mount and then 25 euro I think for the, the bicycle mount. So overall it's a very good camera for the price and it does give GoPro a run for its money. The only downside to it is it doesn't have as many accessories as the GoPro but um, overall it's a lovely camera oh. and it's very nice to work with. So I'll do some um, some footage with them and I'll upload them in uh, another video uh, reviews on how good the quality is. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.